In this video, we'll talk about remedies for a healthy heart. Many natural remedies use a variety of herbs and supplements to help treat as well as prevent heart disease. Arthrosclerosis, the hardening of the arteries, is a common cause of heart disease. This is found mainly in the Western world. However, arthrosclerosis is quite rare in the third world due to its different lifestyles, traditional diets, and herb remedies. Coenzyme Q10, or ubiquinone, is a compound that helps our cells extract energy from food. This compound is often missing from our diets. Although coenzyme 10 is produced naturally in our body, the amount decreases dramatically as people grow older or have reduced cholesterol levels. So, coenzyme Q10 supplements will help you to ensure your body has an adequate supply to sustain your heart and keep your cells healthy. If you're not getting enough magnesium and potassium in your diet, by taking these supplements you can help regulate your blood pressure levels as well as improve heart function. As you may realize by now, salt has a very colorful history, both in the development of human civilization as well as public health politics in the past century. While salt was originally prized by many cultures for thousands of years, in the past century it has been demonized. Some have gone so far as calling it the single most harmful substance in the food supply. But new studies have shown that salt has little to do with heart health. In fact, it plays a crucial role in optimal health and too little salt intake can be dangerous in the long run. Natural refined sea or rock salt are a great source of minerals. It's become harder and harder to obtain trace minerals from the foods we eat due to the lack of nutrient-rich soil. However, trace materials are still abundant in our planet's seas and oceans from which we get a variety of sea salts. On the other hand, table salt is mined from salt deposits underground. It's more heavily processed to eliminate minerals and usually contains an additive to prevent clumping. By choosing a real whole food salt that is worth its salt, you can enjoy the health and taste benefits a balance of minerals from the sea can bring to your favorite dishes. Fish oil and other supplements. Many supplements like fish oil are often of low quality and can be harmful. This is due to the extraction process used which causes them to oxidize. It's important to access the quality before purchasing or taking any supplements. Normally a good wholesome diet will supply all the needs of the body. The only time supplements become necessary is when your diet is lacking or when certain health conditions cause you to develop an insufficiency or deficiency. Most dietary supplements are safe and some of them offer actual health benefits, but there can be some risk with their use. Some of these are also anti-nutrients. They prevent the body absorbing nutrients. Omega-3 fatty acids are essential nutrients that are found in naturally grown plants, free-range, naturally fed livestock, and sea-caught fish. Usually in nature, they are found in the ideal proportion for heart health of 50-50 with other natural fats such as omega-6 fats. Did you know that livestock such as eggs, dairy, and seafood lack many essential nutrients when they're raised in feedlots or factory farms without natural feeds or natural sunshine? They lack omega-3 fats and contain very high amounts of damaging fats, which is bad for health. So if you're not eating free-range organic foods, then taking supplements may prove beneficial in ensuring your body gets the nutrients it needs each day. Vitamins and their importance. Vitamin C is one of the safest and most effective nutrients, experts say. A daily dose of vitamin C may have a similar effect as walking on a protein called endothelin-1, which promotes the constriction of small blood vessels. The study which was presented at the American Physiological Society's 14th International Conference on Endothelin involved 35 sedentary, overweight, or obese adults. Those who took a daily time-release dose of vitamin C, 500 milligrams, reduced endothelin-1 mediated vessel constriction as much as those who walked daily. Endothelin-1 activity is known to be higher in those who are overweight and obese. Folic acid, or vitamin B, belongs to the family of water-soluble vitamins. 
It's essential to include this vitamin in your routine diet plan. The human body is capable of preparing this essential vitamin. Daily requirements of the human body utilize a part of this stored vitamin, and the surplus amount is released out of the body through excretion. It performs some of the most vital functions of the body, including everything from RBC formation to energy production. The health benefits of vitamin B9 include the prevention of heart disorders, stroke, cancer, and birth defects during pregnancy. It also helps in building muscles, cell enhancement, hemoglobin formation, and even provides relief from mental and emotional disorders. Vitamin B9 is naturally found in asparagus, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and lentils. Enzymes in foods. Enzymes are vital for every cell in our body as they are organic, biological catalysts that start, promote, and speed up biochemical reactions. Metabolic enzymes in the blood break down the protein-based protection of viruses, parasites, bacteria, and fungi. They are cleansers that combat chronic inflammation, preventing most diseases, including heart disease. Our body produces many enzymes, millions a day, but we still need a good supply of fresh enzymes from fresh food. Antioxidants when you eat a healthy, wholesome diet with plenty of raw, fresh fruits and vegetables, you get a good variety of enzymes and antioxidants as well as fiber. Antioxidants are molecules that give off electrons that help maintain the integrity of your cells. Antioxidants help to prevent cholesterol from oxidizing. Oxidized cholesterol is what poses the danger. It's very damaging to the cholesterol cells. Oxidation is the result of a normal body process, but if something triggers an overproduction of oxidized cholesterol, it can be dangerous. Your immune system may mistake oxidized cholesterol for bacteria. As your immune system then tries to fight it off, this can cause inflammation inside of your arterial wall. This can lead to atherosclerosis or heart disease. There are many recognized antioxidants, but one of the most well-known is vitamin E. Study after study has shown that vitamin E is a potent antioxidant that can help prevent and even treat free radical damage. Factory farming versus organic foods. If you've been following the news, you've probably already heard the phrase factory farming. This term refers to the type of farming business which keeps animals at high stocking densities and uses modern technology to facilitate faster animal growth, lower illness and death rates, and higher production outputs. Many people, particularly business owners and investors, think that factory farming is one of the best innovations of the modern times and has solved numerous problems in the society. However, there are also those who say that factory farming is harmful to the environment as well as to the health of both animals and humans. Poor quality ingredients and sometimes questionable processing and preservation methods are used. On the other hand, the term organic refers to the way agricultural products are grown and processed. While the regulations vary from country to country in the U.S., organic crops must be grown without the use of synthetic pesticides, bioengineered genes or GMOs, petroleum-based fertilizers, and sewage sludge-based fertilizers. Organic livestock raised for meat, eggs, and dairy products must have access to the outdoors and be given organic food. They may not be given antibiotics, growth hormones, or any animal byproducts. Hence, organic foods are more nutritious and much safer, which may translate to a healthier body that is able to absorb healthy nutrients. Detox, the real story. Our bodies, if given the raw materials needed, are very good at detoxing themselves. People who have a healthy, wholesome diet and refrain from indulging in too many processed foods will enjoy renewed energy and heart health. A small amount of processed food is not ideal, but the body can deal with it if not overloaded. Meditative cures, reflexology, and mindfulness. Psychological risk factors, including anxiety and depression, are clearly factors that can have a substantial effect on the heart. Stress can affect and increase the risk factors for heart disease and high blood pressure, especially if coupled with physical inactivity and a person being overweight meditative cures. 
Meditation can reduce the risk of stroke, heart attack, and death by around 50%, according to a new clinical trial. Scientists found that mental focusing and relaxation can be just as effective as the new super drugs that treat heart disease. Balance may sound intangible, but there are chemical markers for every benefit that meditation brings. The negative effect of stress on the heart, as well as the recovery process from stress, is driven by the production of hormones and neurotransmitters throughout the body. Meditation has been found to be a powerful means of rebalancing and regulating these biochemicals. Mindfulness is about training yourself to pay attention in a specific way. In general, mindful people are more aware of the present moment and observe their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors without judging them as good or bad. They tend to disagree with statements like, I find it difficult to stay focused on what's happening in the present, or I could be experiencing some emotion and not be conscious of it until some time later. Studies have demonstrated that individuals who are naturally mindful tend to have healthier hearts and a reduced risk of obesity. Reflexology appeals to many people because it's non-invasive. The only clothes to be removed are shoes and socks. The hands as well as the feet can be worked and this allows discrete self-help relaxing techniques to be applied at any time. Reflexologists are trained to help balance the mind and body and to maintain this state of homeostasis the body needs to run smoothly. When there is a malfunction in the body, it's thrown off balance. Reflexology helps to sustain a natural equilibrium in every gland, organ, muscle, tissue, and cell in the body through stimulation of pressure points called reflexes on the hands and feet. To relax and invigorate your heart muscle, reflexologists suggest that you focus on the heart, colon, and pituitary gland reflexes on your feet. Try working these reflexes with your hands or feet, solar plexus, diaphragm and chest, lung, heart and shoulder, arm, neck, thoracic and cervical spine, intestine, with emphasis on sigmoid colon and adrenal gland. Superfoods for heart health. There are a lot of foods that have the properties to dramatically help with heart health problems, mainly because they are very rich sources of the nutrients and compounds that naturally purify arteries, cleanse and remove inflammation, as well as boost the immune system. Avocados are very high in healthy fats, and if eaten regularly, their compounds are able to normalize and stabilize blood cholesterol levels, maintain clear arteries, and eliminate clots. Asparagus has found to be a very effective blood cleanser. It's able to reduce blood pressure and slow the forming of blood clots. It's loaded with vitamins B1, B2, C, E, and K. Pomegranates have an impressive array of antioxidants that help to protect artery membranes. They also promote the production of nitric acid that allows a person's blood to flow more freely through their blood vessels. Turmeric reduces inflammation and the hardening of the arteries as well as helping to keep them clear and reduce blood clots. Persimmon is a very good source of polyphenols and antioxidants that both help to reduce bad cholesterol, LDL, and triglycerides. They also help to normalize blood pressure and cleanse the arteries. Spirulina helps to regulate blood fat levels, normalize lipid levels, and contains necessary essential amino acids, which help to improve the immune system. Cinnamon is able to decrease harmful cholesterol levels and clean plaque, so it's unable to accumulate in the arteries and blood vessels. Broccoli helps to prevent calcium buildup in arteries and helps to reduce blood pressure and normal cholesterol levels. Cranberries are thought to decrease the risk of developing heart disease in most people by up to 40%. They have a high antioxidant content, which helps to increase HDL while reducing LDL levels. Green tea contains a large amount of catechins. These help to decelerate the absorption of cholesterol and improve blood lipid levels as they help to clear obstructions from arteries. Green tea also helps with cardiovascular health and enhances a person's metabolism. 